Okay, in this video, you're gonna learn how to solve permutations equations, and we're gonna work through this problem right here. So a quick review, NPR, meaning if you're picking R items out of N where the order is important, you wanna use this formula here, N factorial over N minus R factorial. And remember what a factorial is, you take whatever quantity you're working with, say like three factorial, and you multiply by three, then two, then one. You keep subtracting one and you work your way down to one and you multiply all those together. So if we wanna solve for n in this particular equation, what we're gonna to need to do is expand these out using that formula over there. And let's go ahead and do that. So we have n plus one factorial, that's this first part here, divided by n plus one minus two factorial equals five times n factorial over n minus one factorial. So we're just substituting the first quantity that comes in front of the p is the n, and whatever comes after the p is the r, and I'm just substituting into that permutation formula there. But now what we need to do is we need to expand these further using what we know about factorials so that we can solve for n. So the first thing we're gonna do here is this part, n plus one minus two is actually n minus one, if we uh, condense that down. Okay, and so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this n plus one factorial, and remember how we said that it keeps multiplying uh, down to one, so we keep subtracting one each time. So n plus one, then times n, then times n minus one, dot, 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 all the way down to one. And that's what n minus one factorial is as well. It's n minus one times n minus two, n minus three. We keep subtracting one more each time until we get down to one. So I'm gonna go dot, 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 down to one. Now notice how these are canceling all the way down to one. So we're just left with n plus one times n on the left side of the equation. On the right side of the equation, we have five times n factorial, which is n times n minus one, dot, 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 down to one, right? Same thing here, n minus one factorial, n minus one, all the way down to one. These are canceling. And so we're just left with five n. On this side, we have, let's distribute, we have n squared plus n. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get everything on one side, so I'm gonna subtract the uh, 5n, so that's gonna give us n squared minus 4n equals zero, and if we uh, go ahead and factor out an n, we get n times n minus four equals zero, and if we set each group equal to zero, n equals zero, or n equals four. Now, in this particular problem, zero doesn't really make any sense because we can't have zero p1. We can't say we're gonna pick one item out of zero, that's, that's just not possible. This is an extraneous root or solution, so it's gonna be just n equals four, and you can verify that for yourself by putting it back in and making sure that both uh, sides of the equation equal each other. So if you wanna see more about simplifying factorials, check out the video that I did right there, and I'll see you over in that video.